We forgot them somehow. Where are they now? We forgot them somehow. Boy, I sing in Calypso. Young people, young entrepreneurs like Dave Samuels, who have seen the opportunity and are prepared to grasp it and take the risk and move with this country and move this country forward. And 10 years ago, if Dave Samuels had said to his colleagues, to his peers at the time, you know, I will be setting up my own St. Lucian Dave Samuels Promotion Limited. Ten years ago, if he had said this, they would have laughed at him. Why? Because they didn't think he could make it. And Dave, don't, don't um, be worried about this. But for myself, I would briefly like to observe that the initiative uh, that has been undertaken by Mr. Samuels signifies a unique effort to first of all promote this country and secondly secure the aspects of our culture. Nearly three years ago on March 14, 1986 to be precise Mrs. Janice Compton, the charming wife of our Prime Minister, graciously agreed to unveil our production of the first St. Lucian Skyview map. One of the things I have often found about St. Lucia, anything that I have tried, um, even some of my closest friends said to me that it was not going to work. As I noted in Sir Arthur Lewis's autobiography, that your father, who was Antiguan, and his parents, both Antiguan, had known each other all their lives, That's and right. it says here, which must have been, and I'm speculating here, um, somewhat responsible for the eventual um, Gladys Arthur union, shall we say? Well, the point was, we were in London, and Arthur Lewis was coming to talk to Caribbean people about independence and all that. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Um, when speaking with um, Dr. Lewis, for example, he was saying that he was being bombarded by his constituents. They were just milling around and coming to his office with some regularity. Mm -hmm. And um, he got really um, somewhat... Well, I, he needs to do something yes. because if he doesn't do anything, those very, very people are going to be the very first to call the talk shows and, you know. So he was sort of um, forced to come to, to Nemo and he was told, oh, words to the effect, well, we have not yet heard from the leader, the person responsible, the head of your disaster committee in that area. In a situation like that, wouldn't it have been useful to engage him as the leader of the people. I would like to think that I, I attempted to bring flambeaux and etoiles together, and I don't think there are very many people who can boast about that, and I did so quite successfully. In our commitment to this land that gave us both, we are determined that St. Lucia should not waste its sweetness on the desert air. We will describe it. We will portray it. We will preserve its rhythms. We will extol its beauty. We will depict its history. We will expose its charms and we will elevate its people. In pursuing this objective, we opened up new offices at Mont Fortuné in August of last year to give St. Lucia its first fully fledged advertising agency. Forgot them somehow. Where are they now? We forgot them somehow. Boy, I sing in Calypso. 